What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Yes, guys, we are incorporating the shield in this because, <laughs> hey, there's a lot of differences in the game, and I kind of want to show you guys. I really, really do. And, by the way, yes, happy belated New Year's right here, guys. We are finally in 2021. Pandemic is still here, but guess what? I am still making walkthroughs for you guys. First walkthrough, narrated walkthrough that I'm coming out right here, so... Let's go right ahead and continue right here. This is going to be a very long episode because we we have to get to Hammerlock, I think. I don't know. Where was I? Hold on, just a sec. So, yes, we have to make our way through the wild area again to Hammerlock. Now, in the last few episodes, we managed to get ourselves our first three badges, the water, the grass, and the fire, uh, the fire badges. Now, with that being said, we can actually go through the next part of the wild area, which is, I guess... Well, let me tell you this, the Pokemon there are a little bit tougher and uh, it's a little bit more fun to actually capture. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're going to be having some fun right here, guys. Now, the other thing, too, is that the only reason why I, I'm coming out with this walkthrough or this episode right now is because I am playing Pokemon, uh, Pokemon Shield alongside this game, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, everything. Uh, Capturing most of the same Pokemon that I have, having a lot of the same Pokemon on my PC. Hell, I was capturing more Pokemon, putting some of my Pokemon right now into Poke Jobs. I was doing the whole shebang, guys, just to get ready for this next part right here. Now, we, act we actually have to cross this bridge to get to the next part, Hammerlock, which is all the way over there. And before we do anything, I found a nice tiny mushroom right here. So again, guys, make sure to check the the, the items on the the shiny items on the floor because, yeah, there could be uh, some nice items right here. Now let's go ahead and talk to this guy. He's like, you'll be amazed after crossing the bridge. What's so amazing? The Pokemon that live on the other side—they're so strong. You probably won't be able to catch them unless you have several gym badges, though. This is true. Now. Let's go ahead and take a look at our League card right here. I would have to say, yes, Pokemon up to level 50 will obey us, but now we can actually capture Pokemon up to level 35. The only, the only messed up part about this thing is that a lot of the Pokemon on the other side right here are at level 36, 37. Yeah, it's a bummer. It's a huge bummer. So here we are, guys, crossing the bridge to Motostoke Riverbank, and look who we find. We are finding a big old Snorlax right here. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about right here. Now, I, just, I do have Optimus Prime right here, but I need a Pokemon that can actually go up against him. So let's go with Drago. All right. Obviously, we can capture this Pokemon. It's a very strong-looking Snorlax. And obviously, it's Tank. But the only problem is that it's at level 36. So unfortunately for us, we won't be able to catch this guy. And you can find this guy anytime you want. Luckily for us, now we can actually buy Poke Dolls, as many Pokeballs as uh, Poke Dolls as we want. And well, yeah, that is that. So look at this. We're looking at some newer Pokemon right here. Coughing. I do believe that I didn't capture any of these Pokemon. We got Throw, Sock and Throw, and all that crud. And man, we are gonna be capturing a lot of Pokemon. We are gonna be doing a lot right here, guys. Because holy crud. And look at that, Sigalyph. Let's go ahead and try and capture it. Nope, it's a very strong looking Sigalyph, so unfortunately for us, we won't be able to capture this guy because look at that, level 36. And, well, if I know Sigalyph, it's going to be a little quicker than my uh, current Pokemon right now, so yes, we do not want any of that right now. None of that business. So, anywho, guys, like I said, I took a small break from, uh, you know, recording some of these Pokemon walkthroughs right here, and and that is because I actually posted up on my community page, would you guys like to see entries of both Pokemon Sword and Shield into this walkthrough? Mean, mainly the uh, gym battles and all, anything different that would come with this game or this series right here. And look at that, we found ourselves a Firestone, and many of you guys agreed. And so that is exactly what I did. I restarted my Pokemon Shield or Shield game, and I am looking for something right here. And if we turn around, holy crud, can barely see right here. But yeah, I restarted my Pokemon Shield walkthrough, not Shield walkthrough. I keep on saying that, but I, I restarted the game, and then redid the whole thing, and I got myself 
right to this point right here. I think I'm a little bit ahead just because I can actually capture some of these Pokemon now. But from here on now, uh, from from here on out through the, throughout this whole series, it is going to be Pokemon Sword and Shield. First time I'm doing this in my channel for quite some time. And we will be seeing extra episodes from both Pokemon Sword and Shield. Trust me, guys, you're going to be interested because I actually did choose two different kinds of starters, nicknamed them and everything. The other thing that I wanted to do right here is to show two different kinds of teams that, you know, can actually get through this whole thing, too. Because, again, one of the biggest things that this game has taught me was, you know, build up these teams. Build up as many teams as you can. There's Pokemon jobs in this game that actually build up your Pokemon strength and that's exactly what I did uh, off screen when I was actually like just you know screwing around and all that stuff and uh, well let's see look at that we're finding ourselves a pretty feather so we're, we're finding a lot of stuff that we can actually use or we can actually sell now there's a big old I believe that's a Conklador or something I ain't gonna mess with that guy and look at that so this whole episode right here is just me crossing this whole place Trying to find as many Pokemon as I can and get as many items as I can here, too. Now, ah, oh crud, I just realized something. I realized something pretty big, which I will do at the end of this episode right here. So let's go right ahead and grab that revive. And here we have another Pokeball right here. And we found ourselves a TM39 facade. A good move to get, that can actually uh, double up your power. If, you're, if your Pokemon is poison, burned, and par or paralyzed, which is good right there, takes advantage of a disadvantage. And, well, get as many berries as possible, because you could be using these berries for, like, snacks if you're trying to heal your Pokemon and all that. So here we go again. That's two. Come on, baby. Here's three. And crud. We're going to be getting attacked by one of these big old Pokemon, a Greedent. The squirrel Pokemon. And I wonder why it's called Greedent. So say hello to Drago again, and well, let's go ahead and go for a bulldoze attack. Let's get this. Beat the crap out of this badass Pokemon, but unfortunately, this Greedent right here is a little tough on the defense. And, oh crud, it's using a stockpile, so I am not going... I am definitely not going to mess with that guy right now. Yeah, it's going to be a little tougher just... Uh, yeah, he's going to be a little tougher just trying to defeat by just hitting it like that. So, yeah, it took all the qualop berries. Yeah, there's nothing there right there. So, just be aware of that, guys. We're gonna be we're gonna be hitting every crevice around here. This is gonna be one big old episode, get, getting us to Hammerlock and all that. And again, if you see shiny rocks or big red rocks, again, try and grab as many as possible because yes, the, those do count as watts, I believe. Okay, so let's go right ahead and uh, move on right here. Look at this big old bridge. You could find some items right here, but trying to be very very specific right here so how have you guys been so far it's been forever since I've actually talked right here and all that crud I had a very good New Year's very very good New Year's very peaceful just like Christmas and well I got a lot of stuff done before I could go back to work and everything now remember guys I am a personal trainer so we get a lot of these uh, New Year's resolutioners and I've gotten quite a few of them oh god this guy's trying to chase me holy crud Ooh. Yeah, some of these Pokemon are just scary when they try to chase you because, like, they don't look fast, but they're fast. And it's just scary when they're trying to chase after you. The the scarier Pokemon, like Tyrogue, uh, Sneasel, those Pokemon scare the crud out of me. Now, here we are in a bridge field, and look at this. It's a little bit different right now. Wow. Nothing. It is a, a big full of nothing. So, like I was saying, guys, yes, we get a lot of those New Year's resolutioners, and trust me, we I got stacked with a lot of people. That is why it, it took me quite a bit just to actually, you know, get an episode out. That and, you know, uh, get myself to where I needed to be in Pokemon Shield and all that crud. So, yeah, that right there, like, you know, after New Year's, it got really, really busy. Now, let's see. Now, as you can see right there, there is a big old, I would like to say, a ravine or pond. You can actually cross that and actually find stronger Pokemon. As of right now, we don't have any of that because our bike is not modified to the, to do that. But I do see a Super Saiyan Pokemon right here. So I'm going to battle this guy because if you see a shiny or a Pokemon glowing like a Super Saiyan, it must mean more watch right here. So here we go, Drago versus Cutiefy or Cutiefly. And, well, not going to mess with them like that because Cutiefly is a fairy-type Pokemon. 
we all know, Drago, not liking the fairy type Pokemon right there. So let's go with Michelangelo right here, and here comes a Draining Kiss. And, oh my god, not a lot of stuff right there. So here we go, Rock Tomb, let's get this Cutie Fly right here. Look at that, and Cutie Fly has been defeated. Yes, sir, okay. With that, okay, so we're getting more experience points. And we're going to be running away with a, quite a few watts, like 242. And, wow, that guy just nearly got me now. There's an interesting Pokemon that we could get. can't remember what it was called. It's a dragon type, but now... Oh, a Noibat. Noibat or Noiburn. Oh, wow. Again, these Pokemon are, like, sporadic. They just like to chase you around and everything. They just scare me. And, well... Look at that. More strong Pokemon, including that guy. Now, I did mention this, guys, uh, off-screen. For both games, I was actually... Yeah, I was actually training up my Pokemon by doing Poke jobs and everything. So, if you see my Pokemon a little over, uh, over-leveled, you guys probably already know why. And, whoa. Okay, I gotta, I gotta cross this correctly because... Don't want to get hit by any of these Pokemon right here, like Elgium and all them. And here we have another stone with a lot of energy right there. Now, let's see. Guys using Teleport. Do not want to run into any of these Pokemon. Now, I do see a Pokemon right here that is catching my eyes. And, whoa! <laughs> right there. Right there. Now, that Pokemon right there, I, I would have captured it right now. But I just realized that there was a little something that I left behind at a daycare. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing later on after this uh, this whole adventure right here. So let's go right here and see what we got. We got a lot more Pokemon. There's a Noibat. And we got more items on the floor. Look at that. Revive. And, well, here we have a Waterstone. And look at that. Another 50 watts right there. Now at this point, you can actually actually capture yourself a few extra a few extra EVs and evolve them into their their next evolutionary form in order to have you know an extra amount of Pokemon for Poke jobs. Trust me, guys, it was hard enough as it is to capture as many Pokemon as possible, different typings and all that stuff, and then sending them out for Poke jobs. Though that was a task in itself. Literally had to evolve some different Pokemon. I do believe. Hold on. I do believe I, I, oh yeah, I, I was doing quite a few, uh, <laughs> I was doing a lot of uh, evolving and capturing, so don't be too surprised if you see my Pokebox all filled up with different kinds of evolved Pokemon and all that stuff. Now that ain't the end right there of me growing them levels or anything like that. Uh, going to keep on doing it until, you know, we get to the Elite Four, I believe, not the Elite Four, but... You know, until we get really, really strong. Again, build up as many teams as possible right here, guys. And I do have quite a few teams in mind when I get to the very, very end of this whole, well, this whole adventure right here. Now, look at that. We got more berries right there, more trees, and more stones right there. Look at that. The sights, the sounds. Not so much of a sound right here. And that Pokemon that we can't beat because it might be at level 40. Luckily for us, we're faster than that big old mollusk. I do have a bike, I just realized, so we're going to go right here and grab ourselves another 50 watts. Now, here we have two digging brothers. One actually gets you a lot of rare items and the other one actually gets you, well, some rare items right here. We're going to go ahead and try them out right here, so let's go ahead and talk to this guy. Hey, uh, all, right, all right, we two brothers are known as the digging duo. Uh, we're digging up treasure here, see? You've got a fair bit of luck finding us here. If you'd like to spot us some watch, we'll dig you so we'll dig you up some uh, handy treasures for your adventure. And well, I'm gonna say yes. And well, this guy right here is like, all right. Let me tell you, I'm no lack in stamina, but when it comes to skill, my brother's the best. Want me to dig up some treasure for 500 watts? Sure, let's get this. Usually, you'll be able to find some. Uh, yeah, you'll usually usually find some uh, fossils if you're lucky enough with this guy. And here we have a shiny stone. Stardust, nice, fossilized Dino, and what else? A rare bone. We're gonna keep on going. A heat rock and another heat rock. And oh wow, he's gonna he's continuing. And we got another firestone. 
And a Dawnstone. Look at that. We're getting some good items right there. Okay, so this guy found us quite a few items, which is good. A good few stones that we needed. Now this guy, well, he's no lack in skill, but he does not have he does not have stamina. So you're probably gonna get like maybe one or two items from this guy right here. So go ahead, save your uh, your progress. Ask him to dig for you, and let's see what he'll find for you. A moonstone. And that's it. Wow. <laughs> so one treasure. That's pretty good right there. We found some... Well, those are pretty good stones right there. Very, very good stones that I can use off-screen to evolve some Pokemon that I need to evolve and all that stuff. Again, I do like evolving Pokemon. Actually, I do like... Uh... Oh, wow. Is that a... Oh, wait. That is a... Whatchamacallit. I can't remember what the, the, the Pokemon. Dillabird. Yes. A Delibird. So let's go ahead and switch our Pokemon right here. Now, as you can see, I was doing a, a lot of training, and I brought in a, a few extra teams right here. I, I know that there's going to be more teams. So what we're going to what we're going to do against this Delibird is we're going to actually use our Pokemon Reboot, one of the starter Pokemon that I actually got as an egg. So let's don't invite invite anybody and just go ahead and battle this guy right here so let's see what this guy is all about look at that big pimpin looking all smooth and wow that is a big old santa claus bird oh damn okay so here it is reboot looking all mean and everything and thankfully tarkoal has its drought so now it's actually going to boost our, our fire type moves just a little bit more so now Let's go ahead and use that Dynamax and just use a Max Flare to destroy this Delibird right here. So here we go. You heard a Shadow Chicken. Now here we have Shadow Bunny. It's probably, gonna, it's probably what I'm going to nickname this Pokemon right here. So here we go, Shadow Bunny. Looking mean. Look at that. Okay, alrighty. Okay, so they, here, here we go. We got a Bunny versus a Chicken. Here comes the Max Flare. And that has got to hurt because we took care of Delibird right there. And it explodes up into flames. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to try and capture this guy. So let's see. Let's see. Let's go ahead and use a quick ball because it is kind of quick sometimes. Just a little bit. Alrighty, so here we go with our giant ball throwing that thing. And here we go. Stay in there. Yeah, buddy. Now remember, doing these kind of gigantic, uh, gi uh, dyna or Dynamax battles will actually get you some good items as well, like rare candies. And this guy escaped? What the hell? Wow, this is a first. <laughs> no worries, we still got some good items right here. You know, experience candies and all that stuff. Wow, that is the first time it's ever happened to me. Wow. Didn't... Yeah, I did not see that coming, guys. Wow. I <laughs> Okay, Delibird. Didn't really want to get captured right there, so whatever. All right, so let's move on right here. Let's continue with uh, lo looking at this place right here. Now, I'm going to be looking at the trees first because, yes, there's always some shiny items around this area. And, yes, we found ourselves some two big mushrooms right here. Now, believe it or not, guys, you can actually find another daycare center right here. Talk to this girl. She's like, hello there. This is the wild area branch of the Pokemon Nursery. We're just as capable as the nursery on Route 5. Don't you worry about a thing. Will you be leaving any Pokemon with us today? Not right now. Just letting you guys know that here it is, another nursery. And let's see, what is this guy? What is this guy selling? Sells heal balls. And a lot of great items like Earthquake, Superpower. Yeah, some pretty good moves right there, which I will eventually get. And, well, let's see. We're going to be grabbing this right here. We got ourselves a Great Ball. Not bad. And, well, look at that. Holy bejeebas. This is just a lot, of, a lot of land right here, guys. A lot of stuff that you can actually do. A lot of Pokemon you can actually capture. And now we're going to be going into the ne the next section of this whole place right here. Now, trust me on this, guys. When I was playing Pokemon Shield, uh, it took me quite a while to get through this whole thing. Mainly because I was actually exploring every little piece of this place. Including the areas where, like, there's super strong Pokemon, especially for right now. And I, there it is, another tiny mushroom. I'm going to be pressing that button right there. And god dang Zigzagoon. 
Alrighty, so we got a Maractus right there and a lot of <laughs> a lot of grass. Yeah, definitely don't want that zigzag goon trying to capture me right here. Alright, so here we are in the, in the bridge field. We're going to be crossing this area quite a few times because there is uh, there are items around here, including uh, trees. And look at that. It's a pharaoh seed. I think that's a pharaoh seed. I don't know. But here we are, the stony wilderness. Going back right here. And yes, yeah, so we're going to be getting a lot of items. A revive and pokeball right here. Okay. Yeah, we're going to be crossing a lot of stuff right here, guys. Stony areas, bushy areas, the works. And, well, let's see, there's nothing right here. Kind of getting a little dizzy, but it's okay. Now, here we have a Greedent just trying to protect its uh, its berries right here. Too bad I just snuck in and grabbed a few more berries. So let's go ahead and grab more. Yep, and let's get with the third, and yes, okay, all right. Okay, so there we go. Got shoe, citrus, berry, and you know what? I'm gonna take off my bike right now because it's a little it's a little difficult to like uh, to maneuver that bike, especially when you're trying to get some berries right here. All right, come on, more berries. Come on, one more, and yes, okay. All right, so we got all of that. So now let's go to the final berry or the final berry tree right here, and what's going to happen? That's one. Let's get another one. Two, let's get it three, and there she goes. Okay, so we got it. We got our nice fill of berries, which is good, and we got leftovers. Okay, so leftovers is very, very good for us to heal our Pokemon during battle. So we're gonna make sure to equip a Pokemon with that. And as you can see, you can find a lot of Pokemon right now here, guys. Some some Pokemon that you haven't seen in the first uh, the first uh, wild area. And there's a clay doll. Holy crud. It could be at level 50. I could be wrong. I don't even know. These, these levels vary from time to time and all that stuff. So grabbing that. And, well, let's see. Nothing right there. And, okay. So we got two sections that we haven't seen right now. And I would love to get a Noibat right now, but... Don't think I'm going to be capturing a lot of Pokemon right now. I'm going to be doing that off screen. And, well, we're can, kind of getting a little dizzy right now. <laughs> okay, so let's move on right here, going through this area. Alrighty, so what else have I been doing since since the whole New Year's uh, thing? Well, working on the Pokemon games, which is good. Very, very good. And, let's see... As you can probably, you can, as you can probably tell, yes, I've been uploading uh, some of my non-narrated walkthroughs. Which, believe it or not, guys, we have reached 20 episodes on, uh, um, I believe, three. So we're 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 in a good pace right here. And whoa, look at that, Dustnor. You don't see those, those normal type of or those kinds of Pokemon until very very later on. And what else? What else? Well, working on this game right here too, just to make sure that you know you guys get the complete walkthrough. I still think they're going to come out with a third gen or a third Pokemon game of this of this uh, of this which we call it generation. It just depends on how how fast they make it. We are in 2021, so anything could happen. I'm pretty sure of it. That is a big old Pokemon right there. Okay, so we're just going to completely grab a whole bunch of stuff right here. A lot of shiny items because yes, it's never too bad to have some free shit right here. And then, uh, let's see, what else have I been doing? <laughs> not a lot of stuff, guys, trust me. My life is not that interesting. But I am... I do apologize for not uploading a lot of, uh... Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough videos right now, because... You know, my mind goes from left to right. If I want to do something, and I, and I... And I... And it's in my mind the whole entire time, oh, I'm gonna be doing it. And, uh, well, let's see, where else are we looking at? I think we crossed that. Now, in this episode right here, I'm just going to be crossing this specific area right here because if we go down, let's see, north, east, south, the west side, the western side of this area right here, the wild area, you will be encountering a lot more strong Pokemon right there. Trust me, there, there are quite a few areas in this, this wild area in the western section that you can actually train your Pokemon. I've done this before and managed to get my starter Pokemon up to level 80 
in like no time. So that that right there is a, a big old plus. And because we're on automatic experience here right here, yeah, it helps out a lot. Now, another thing too, guys, I know that you can actually capture Pokemon right here. Um, you can capture evolutionary Pokemon like, you know, Pokemon that you can only get in trades, stone evolutions, uh, friendships, and all that stuff. But <laughs> I'm pretty much, like, I'm very old school when it comes to these Pokemon games. I, I love to actually... Good. Like, not only do I like to go on the adventure right here, but I actually love to do the whole Pokemon evolutions by trading and, and you know, figuring it out by, all by myself. So if you see me capturing Pokemon that, you know, I will hopefully eventually evolve in all that crud. And, you know, you can actually get these Pokemon later on right here. It's, it's just the old school me, guys. I like doing the whole thing. I like evolving Pokemon. I like starting from square one right here. Now... Well, let's go right here, see if we can capture this Pokemon right here. Now, it is an Ice-type Pokemon, so that to me means that it's going to be, it's going to be a, uh, well, a Vulpix, a, an Alolan Vulpix. So, let's go back to Re Reboot right here, and let's not vibe anybody. Alrighty. Okay, so here we are, big pimpin' again, looking like a million bucks, with a policeman, an aviation guy, and a karate master. Okay, so let's go. Reboot. Looking mean as always. Vulpix looks like... <laughs> Vulpix right here looks so nice. Okay, so let's get this. Dynamax away. Let's go with the Max Flare and get this Vulpix down. And hopefully it doesn't escape. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, it went up in rankings or stars, and that it went up to two stars right there. So, kind of thinking that it, like we're kind of going up in value right here. Now, I do remember going up against like a five-star one. Those Pokemon are the toughest because they like to defend, they like to screw with you, and it, yeah, and then you only get to use three turns of Dynamax, which I think is pretty lame. And this Vulpix is losing. Oh yes, and here comes a Max Hailstorm. Oh wow. <laughs> that is a huge, huge Hailstorm. Holy crud. That was pretty awesome right there. Okay, so let's see. We got Halucha with his feather, feather dance. Which was pretty stupid. And here comes a Flamper from Torkoal. And what the hell? Oh wow, okay, so now... This is something new right here. Now, once it starts getting aggressive and desperate, it actually powers up a, a mysterious barrier, and you actually have to hit it with three turns. After hitting it for three turns, guys, its defense sharply goes down, so that right there would be an opening for you to just attack it quickly. Now, as you can see, Wobbuffet fainted, so I am, uh, yeah, I'm not happy about that. Right now, we're kind of like, we're kind of struggling a little, because we have a fighting type of two fire Pokemon right here. Yeah, could have beaten this guy right away, but not letting me right now. So here we go, Max Flare. And that takes away two of its uh, barrier points. And what is that? Okay, so now it nullified stat changes and abilities. And here comes a Ice Beam on a... <laughs> okay, and here comes the Flying Press. Flame Wheel for the win, and it lost its last point right there. So now, bam! And there we go, its defense have, or his, both its defense has harshly gone down. It's attacking me with Powdered Snow, do not know why. And Halucha has fainted, so now that's two Pokemon. Now, I do believe if four Pokemon, or if it manages to make four Pokemon faint, the storm will actually blow us away and we're going to have to start it all over again now. As you can see, Alfie's Pokemon has come out, or is going to come out again, so... Let's get this. Let's go with the Max Knuckle. See how this works right here since its defense has gone down. So here we go. Max Knuckle. Big old Nux right to the face. Say goodbye to Alolan uh, Vulpix. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. I'm going to capture this Pokemon and hopefully it doesn't like, you know, disappear on me or something. Alright. Let's go with the Repeat Ball right here. Alrighty. Get this big old ball right right to the face. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. And... That's one. Come on. Stay in the Pokeball. Two. Stay in there. Three. Throwing out the peace sign, guys. Okay, so there we go. We cut ourselves an Alolan Vulpix. This is pretty cool. I never had an Alolan Vulpix before, and it is a three-star Vulpix. Holy crud. Okay, so it's a pretty good one. And we got Ice Beam, Work Up, a Hondu Berry, and an Experienced Candy, a large one. It's very, very good. So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. Alolan, and I'm not going to give you a nickname, but let's go ahead and take a look at this summary right here. So... Alolan Vulpix, and it's at level 35. Alolan Vulpix, basically a, an Ice-type Pokemon. Very good one. The only messed up part about this, and this is coming off of my Pokemon Let's Go Eevee Walk right here, it's defense. Physical defense is crap, so... Yeah, not, not, not a very good Pokemon to actually have if you're trying to, like, you know, go with defense or anything like that. This guy's right here is a... This guy's right here on a, a, a very good special attack as well as an attacker, so... As you can see, has an Aurora Beam, Ice Beam, Extra Sensory, and Draining Kiss. A very good Pokemon to actually have, but the defense kind of sucks. It really does. Okay, so that's that. And would you look at that? I see Sneasel right there. Now, these are some of the Pokemon that I do not want to mess with uh, while I'm trying to walk away or trying to look for some items. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to keep on going to Stones, getting my uh, wattage, See if I can actually find some other Pokemon right here. Like I said, guys, I'm going to specific areas right here to just, you know, grab stuff, avoid Pokemon. Look at that. And we found ourselves a Sunstone. All right, I think I already know what to do with this. And, well, let's see. Wow. Oh, wow. Grab that. Get the hell out of here. I believe in this. Oh, wow. Yeah, I believe in this area right here, you can actually uh, you can actually spot yourself a, a Tyranitar. The only problem is, a Tyranitar around here are at level 60, so don't, don't think that it will be easy to capture this Pokemon. Because at this point, you're not at the, well, you're not at the level to capture that specific, or the, that, that strong of a Pokemon right now. But here we have, a, I believe it's a Beldum or something? I don't even remember. Can't remember its name. Oh, look at that. I believe... Oh, wow. I'm going to try and capture it. <laughs> Not really. Okay, so... Drago, meet your brother or sister. Kamo'o. And just like Tyranitar and Pokemon Shield, this Pokemon will be at level 60. It is a tank of a Pokemon, and it is a fighting-type Pokemon, too. So... Yeah, I'm not going to try and mess with this guy right now because, yeah, it's going to kick my butt. My baby butt. It will. It will kick my baby butt. So, that's one Pokemon that you can actually find in this area right here. Trust me, guys, I will be going back for a lot of these Pokemon right here. And here we have a fossilized bird. The fossil of an ancient Pokemon that once soared through the sky. What it looked like is a mystery. Now, the thing is right here, fossils here, you're actually going to have to have two different kinds of fossils to actually get to actually make one Pokemon uh, never really tr well I never really actually got the fossil Pokemon but that's how it works right here in Pokemon uh, sword and shield and all that stuff and look at that we're looking at the wow this is an area that I've never seen before so let's go ahead and talk to this lady I finished up something brilliant there is this is absolutely brilliant Want my brilliant to find uh, my brilliant for just 100 watts? Yes. Okay, give me my brilliant thing. And here it is. We found ourselves three big pearls that you can actually sell for a very, very high price. And, well, let's see. Nothing else right here. Nope. Now, there could be some uh, shiny stones or whatever. Hidden items. I don't know. Alrighty, so let's see. Where in the heck am I? Alright, uh, yeah, sometimes you can get easily lost in this area right here, guys. And there is a Shuckle. Holy crud. A Shuckle. And, let's see. I think I already got a Shuckle back in the... Or I think I already caught a Shuckle, probably. Alrighty, so, let's see. There's nothing right here except for that shiny area. Found our Star Piece, and... Well, let's move on right here. 
nothing else. And just looking, uh, we're just like, we're looking for items right here, guys. Trying to get through and grabbing that. And I see a Cub Chew right here. There's a lot of Ice type Pokemon right here that I can actually get. And, well, do not want to mess with any of these Sneasels right now because they run pretty fast pretty fucking fast so right now let's go ahead and keep on grabbing these uh these what with these wattages and well let's see there's nothing right there except for that pokemon do not want to mess with you and well, let's see more wattages means more uh prizes and all that stuff and well let's go right ahead and grab that go to that area now drill monger's right there <laughs> could have gone to the dusty bowl and grab this one right here so 300 wattage and we are looking at a rock and roller right here so let's go ahead and switch our pokemon let's go ahead and use a pokemon we haven't used like optimus prime right here and well i am not going to actually invite anybody because who's actually with me i don't know <laughs> all righty so here it is round three and look at that rock and roller Rog and Roller. All right, so Optimus Prime, I've, I haven't seen you in quite some time, so let's go ahead and try and Gigantamax you. I believe this Pokemon is a like one star, so should be easy to actually defeat right here. All right, here we go. Getting my Pokeball. Let's go. All righty, all righty, all righty. Look at this. Growing bigger by the second, and there we go. Thwacky. With his two big ass sticks. Look at that. Murder primate or something. I don't even know. <laughs> something about murder because these Pokemon murdered these Pokemon. Look at this. Max overgrowth. And that was easy. Okay, so this was a one star Pokemon right here. And. Okay. And. Well, there goes Rog and Rolla. I think I already caught one, but I might as well capture this one too. Never say no to Pokemon, guys. So let's go. Let's just throw a regular Pokeball through this guy. And there we go. Throwing the Pokeball. There's one. There's a two. Come on. And there's a three. Good job. Good job. Throwing out that piece on, guys. Alrighty. Okay. So that's another Pokemon that we can gladly capture right there. And what do we get? Power Gem. It's a nice move. Star Piece. And uh, quite a few candies. Not so bad. Not so bad. Cool, cool, cool. And, well, we have already caught a Rog and Rolla. So let's just put it back into the box and move on right here. See what we can actually do right here. Let's see. Uh, oh, I see, another, I see another bright spot right there. So let's go ahead and grab whatever's there. A rare bone. There's a vile plume. I'm not gonna mess with that. Usually the Pokemon around here walking are like at level 40 to 50. So yeah. Again, if you're at the the same spot that I'm at right now, guys, do not mess with these Pokemon that are walking because they are a lot more stronger than usual. And look at that. We got Machokes, Machokes Wob or yeah, Machokes Wobbuffet, and I believe Pumpkaboo right here. And what the heck is this? Oh my god, wait, 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 wait. I don't know what this... Oh, it's... Yeah, I thought it was a rare Pokemon right there. <laughs> okay, and look at that. Corviknight. Yes. Man, we're seeing a lot of Pokemon right here that, you know, can go into our Pokedex. And wow. Good thing we're on our bikes because, uh, yeah. We're gonna get attacked by a Sneasel right here. And more wattage. More wattage. Okay, so... I think, we're, I think that's it. We're just trying not to run over Pokemon, but look at that. Too late. And we have found ourselves an Inke. Inke. Now, this is an interesting Pokemon you can actually find in the Kalos region. Inke, if, you, if you're trying to evolve it, I believe in Pokemon, Pokemon X and Y, you have to turn down or flip the uh, Nintendo 3DX upside down in order to evolve it when it reaches level 30. I think it's the same thing right here too in the Nintendo Switch. I think I tried it one time. Could be wrong. So here we go, headbutt. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to capture this Inke and... Oh, I didn't know that I... Oh yeah, the Shell Bell. Completely forgot about that. 
And here comes a Night Slash, almost for the win. Drago, you better not be defeated by some jellyfish looking uh, kid. And, well, you know what, let's throw a Pokeball. A Dust Ball, since it is a Dark type Pokemon, it is nighttime. Let's try and capture this guy right here. Let's go, one, two, three, and there we go, guys. Caught ourselves a good Pokemon, and, uh, well, more more power to our Pokemon right here, and uh, let's see what we got. So here we have Inkay, the revolving Pokemon, both dark and psychic type Pokemon. A very good Pokemon, actually, have an X and Y. It spins while making its luminescent spots flash. These spots allow it to communicate with others by using different patterns of light. Not bad, not bad. Okay, so sending that guy to the box. Obviously, we're going to evolve this Pokemon off screen. It is one level away from evolving, so that's always a big old plus. And I believe we're close to the entrance. But again, I'm looking for treasures because that's what good old Draven do, or go to good old Draven does, I should say. As of lately, can't be speaking properly. And look at that, 50, 50 watts and a bomb of snow right here. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna visit the west side just a little bit just a tiny bit because there might be a few items there that you can actually get and I don't want to miss any of them right there so let's see here we have a tree obviously you can actually find some a uh, not eggs but you can actually find a lot of stuff like a citrus berry right here and let's go again there's two and let's get this third one three okay so there's nothing right there alrighty and a Hondu berry. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save that for the off screen because I don't think I don't think it's gonna be a Pokemon of, of interest right there. But I will be visiting the western portion of this whole area right here, guys, just to sh uh, just show you what you can actually find. Obviously, it is snowing, so you're gonna be finding a lot of ice type Pokemon. And let's see. A good suggestion would be getting Sneasel because I do believe you can actually get the the Grip Claw or what. The Razor Claw around here somewhere. Could be wrong, guys. And... Wow. Can't really see nothing right there. So, look at this. The outskirts of <laughs> this whole thing right here. Trust me, guys. You're going to be finding a lot of interesting stuff. Day, night, rain. Rain, uh, snow, wind, dustiness. It doesn't really matter. It's just a bunch of Pokemon right here that I, it, it, you know, it's hard to uh, keep track of. And there we go, another level berry, and there it is, guys. We caught ourselves a lot of, uh, a lot more berries. Too many berries right there. Okay, so that's that. And, well, let's see. Try not to get hit by a Pokemon now. This right here, the Giant's Cap. We are right here close, close by to the river right here. Now, in this specific area... You will be able to find a lot of great Pokemon. And once you have the ability to actually swim, or not swim, but basically ride over the ocean right here or the river, that section will be holding a lot of powerful powerful Pokemon. Behind that big old, you know, rocky area, you'll be finding a lot of like a lot of rare and strong Pokemon. This is actually the best place to actually train your Pokemon later on once you're trying to get ready for the you know the other badges. And look at this. Man, looking from the outside in here, some of your Pokemon right here. This game kind of actually sh shows that, like, you know, you don't necessarily have to train your Pokemon or evolve them. You just, <laughs> you can go and, you can go and capture stronger ones of the same kind. Who knows, you might, you might even capture the ones that can actually Dynamax to a different form. Which I still haven't done, and what the hell? Oh wow, I thought that was a, a rare Pokemon, and look at this. The nice view from uh, the top of this whole area right here. Look at that. It's a beaut. And whoa. Yeah, Soul Rock. Yeah, so we're playing Pokemon Sword. So yeah, in Pokemon Sword, you'll be able to find Soul Rock. I believe in Pokemon Shield, that's Lunatone. So keep an eye out for that, guys, if you want to complete a collection right there. And yeah, it's trying to get hit by any Pokemon right here. And we're getting Comet Shards. Nothing there, and Fortnite. Holy shit! <laughs> Trying not to get hit by any of these Pokemon right here. Okay, and 
Well, is that a river? No, th that kind of looked like a river. And look at this. <laughs> a lot of Pokemon, guys. Oh, man. Am I going to be doing a lot of training? Lots and lots of training, guys. And, oh, wow. They're just popping up like nowhere. Okay, so let's see. Whoa. <laughs> Again, try not to get run over or try to get a Pokemon that just pops out of nowhere right there. And look at this guy. All right, let's see what he sells. Let's see, spend my watts. He throws out heal balls. And he has the hydro pump technique, which is good. I will be coming back for you a little bit later, little bit later on. And we get some more roots. And what the hell was that? Oh, we already evolved that Pokemon. Like I said, guys, off screen, I did a lot of capturing and a lot of evolutions. And, well, this was one of the Pokemon that I actually evolved, the Dottler. Now, I did mention that you can actually get Pokemon jobs. And, wow, I was thinking of another Pokemon game. <laughs> Never mind. Pokemon Shield. Uh, I was talking about the, the, the Pokemon jobs. They give you... Wow. Come on, man. Let me go. Let my people go. So like I was saying, guys. Pokemon jobs gives you the ability to actually grow your Pokemon depending on what the job requires. Every single time your Pokemon does a very, very, very good job, it will actually increase the amount of uh, jobs that you get plus the amount of stars that you can get with that job. The amount of stars that you get with that job is the quality or the amount of experience points that these Pokemon will get. Now, here's the thing. Pokemon will not evolve in these jobs. They will just grow to the specific level. And they may learn new moves. It, it you know, that, that kind of stuff. They may learn new moves. But do not worry. Since the move relearner is for free right here, you can actually learn the moves that you want to learn or relearn anytime you want. And, wow. A shit ton of dollars, and what else? Yeah, it, you can you can do this over and over and over again, guys. And you know you'll definitely have a plenty of Pokemon teams. Uh, you know, plenty of strong teams in the in the long run. You don't necessarily have to stay with just one Pokemon team, and that is basically the goal that I have right now. Is build up a lot of teams, including in Pokemon Shield. So. I think that's pretty much it for this whole section right here, guys. Let's go right ahead and let's go right ahead and, and, and get to Hammerlock right now because I thought this was going to be a little bit more, well, it was a little action filled. It's just that, you know, I thought we were going to battle some trainers right here. I could have sworn we battled a trainer here and there. Look at that. So many Pokemon popping up. I almost want to capture them all, which is pretty much the name of the game right here. Look at that. In a big old dragon's mouth right there. Okay, so let's get all prim and proper. Before we go to that guy, let's go ahead and see what these guys sell. This guy throws out net balls and wow. Pollen Puff. The user attacks the enemy with Pollen Puff that explodes. If the target is an ally, it gives an ally Pollen Puff that restores his HP instead. Huh. Okay. It's a new move that I didn't know about. Okay, and I think this guy sells, yeah, he sells ingredients and all that stuff, so definitely not going to do that for right now. So, let's go right ahead, right here. So, we're talking to this guy. Ah, Gym Challenger, allow me to check your gym badges. The Grass Badge, the Water Badge, the Fire Badge. It's confirmed that you've defeated three gym leaders, including the leader of Motorstoke. I wish you the best of luck in your future battles. And just like that, our quote-unquote rival right here, one of our rivals, I think he is, you know, the guy that we mistaken for a girl. Oh, it's you. I doubt Hopper will be coming. It's only natural. After such a humiliating defeat, there's no way he could he, he could look the champion in the eye. <laughs> you beat you beat Hop? <laughs> I'm sure he'll withdraw with the challenge. Oh wow, he beat Hop, bro. Oh, <laughs> you're my hero. Oh, man, I kind of want to see this. Here, just look at my gym badges. I've already won. Thank you, Challenger Bead. I can confirm you have required uh, the required badges. Anyway, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. Bro, he defeated Hop. Oh, man, I can only imagine how Hop must be feeling right now, because the kid, like, he... Oh, my God. 
Oh my god, he oozed entitlement just because his brother was is the champion. Oh, I can only ma imagine how he's feeling right now. I kind of want to see. He kind of deserves it a little. I don't know. <laughs> Does that make me into a bad person? Maybe, but the kid was getting on my nerves just a little, and wow, would you look at that. Wow. Oh, this is definitely going to be the uh, like uh, the the thumbnail to one of my uh, one of my episodes. And look at that, another uh, clothing store, big old castle feel to this. Look at that. Is that a freaking dragon? That's a goddamn dragon. Man, what is it with the British and dragons? I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna finish it off right here, going straight to this. And would you look at that? The chairman is with Bead. Bead's like, Mr. Chairman. I've been collecting both Wishing Stars and Gym Badges as fast as I can. Good work, Bead. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the Chairman who just endorsed you. If I gather enough Wishing Stars that will help you solve the problem that, uh, that's been bothering you, right, Mr. Chairman? Oh, it's not just about me. It's for the future of the whole Galar region. And we'll need more than just Wishing Stars. We need powerful Pokemon Trainer, too. Someone like the Champion. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion's endorsed trainers, just how outclass he was. I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll be able to defeat champ, the, the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. Huh, well, okay. That's the spirit. It takes a healthy competition to really keep the gym challenge re energized. Challenger Bead, there is something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? I want a moment. Holy crap. She looks scary, but she... Oh, look at that. I could watch her walk for days. What the hell are you wearing, bro? Are you wearing your boxers? Oh, jeez. Fashion these days. Okay, so... Rose is like, I hope you were listening, Draven. As you know, Wishing Stars are those mysterious stones that are, uh, that are even attached to your Dynamax bands. There's more Wishing Stars than just making your Pokemon into giants, though. They hold more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium. In fact, we should head inside right away. I'll even give you a little lesson on how the Gala region is set, gets its energy. Really? Nice boxers, bro. Anywho, guys. So, we're finally here in Hammer's... Hammerstein? Or, no, Hammerlock's... Well, in Hammerlock. And, yeah, it took me quite a, quite a few days, guys. I initially was supposed to be in... Yeah. First day of 2021, but... It is what it is. I'm here. It is, you know, it, the 15th episode is right here now. What I now I mentioned something earlier in this episode that I was gonna have to do, or I needed to do something. I wanted to show you guys something. Kind of flew over my head. So we're gonna fly all the way to where the nursery is at. Okay. I completely forgot that in the nursery right here in Route Five. You have to go in there and talk to an indi a certain individual. Now, we're in Route 5. We just need to get up here to the nursery. Now, if you guys don't know, it's right here where I actually caught myself in a... An, or not a lowland, but a, a, a Galarian... God dang it, a Galarian Farfish. Now, go into the... Into the, uh... Whatchamacallit, the Pokemon Daycare. Now, if you see this person right here, she has one of these interesting Pokemon right here. Now, talk to her. It's a Toxel, a real Toxel. I found an egg and carried it around with me, and it hatched into a Toxel. Why don't you raise it? It's a real shocking Pokemon. And there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Toxel. Now, this Pokemon is a very, very interesting Pokemon right here. It is both an, electri an electric and poison type Pokemon. It is the baby Pokemon. It stores poison in its internal poison sac and secretes the poison through its skin. If you touch this Pokemon, a tingling sensation follows. And well, I will I will I will be giving this Pokemon a nickname later on. But as of right now, I kind of want to I want to look a little bit at something right here, okay? Let's go ahead and summary. As you can see, this Toxel is at level 1 since it's baby Pokemon. Both electric and poison type Pokemon right here. Now, the way you evolve this Pokemon, it does have two forms, I believe. The form that you get depends on its uh, depends on its uh, what you might call it, it, it uh, on its nature. As you can see, its ability is rattled. Ghost 
dark bug type move scare the Pokemon and it boosts it boosts his speed stat. And well, look, we got Nuzzle, Acid, Flail, Growl, and all that stuff. Now it does have a hardy nature. Now let me uh, let's see. Let me go straight into these. Straight into this Poke, uh, this Bulbapedia right here, and I'm gonna tell you exactly what you can get with what kind of nature right here. So let's see, let's see, Toxel. God dang it, I hate autocorrect. Toxel evolution. Alrighty. Okay, so Toxel evolves into toxicity. Uh, toxicity. Uh, it has both a an amp form and a low key form. It's all based off of like you know punk metal or punk punk rock and all that stuff. Now. The ant form, you can actually get it with a hardy, brave, adamant, naughty, docile, impish, and lax, and hasty nature. So, as you can see, I have a hardy nature right here. So, we're going to get the ant form. Now, the low key form, you have to have a lonely, bold, relaxed, timid, serious, modest, and mild, and quiet, for, uh, quiet uh, nature. I think in Pokemon Shield, I got one of those Pokemon. So, I will be showcasing that to... I will be showcasing that in both, uh, you know, in both games. That way, I can actually, you know, play them on and all that stuff too. And look at that. We get ourselves five experience candies, extra smalls, and well, yeah, we're getting a lot, just a lot right here. Okay, so that was pretty much it right there, guys. Uh, again, I do apologize for you know the lateness of this whole episode right here. I, you know, I've been very, very busy, guys. Very busy. Uh, since the start of the new year and all that stuff, but trust me, there's recordings on its way. This game is now a Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough, so there will be extra episodes. I will be battling both types of Pokemon gyms, from the Ground and Ice to the Ghost and Fighting type Pokemon. And not only that, but I will be I will be showing the Pokemon Legendary battles between the sh the Sword and Shield Pokemon games. So, yeah, we're going to be getting extra episodes here, guys. In the meantime, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate all the love and all the subscription. Stay safe out there, guys. I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.